do, do, do. This is the Honda Freed and it returned to Singapore. And today we find out if it's got what it takes to take on the Toyota Sienta for one of the most popular MPVs in Singapore. Buy or sell your car now with Car Buyer Singapore and check out the latest automotive content with us. Now if you want to know more about the Honda Freed, you can check out our website for the new story, Car Buyer Singapore. That's right, we've got all the details there for you, but to sum it up, this car comes with just one engine variant in Singapore. It's a non-hybrid unfortunately, but it is Cat A friendly. 130 horsepower, 1.5 litre engine. And it comes in two variants, the S7 and the E7. Now the base lower S7 comes in at $149,999 with COE, while this, the E7, is $154,999 with COE. That's right, so you will find out that it indeed is a party better than an S-Club party. <laughs> Because this is the E7, it's a slightly more expensive one. Functionally, uh, it's got the LED headlights, the daytime running lights, and the cornering lights. But uh, we'll show you another difference of the S7 inside as well later on. So 2023, uh, really high CE prices. I expect this car, the Freed, and the Toyota Center to be pretty much the only game in town when it comes to affordable, small, seven-seat MPVs. Because there really is nothing else on the market right now. Yeah, and we did Run, review the... And all that. Sorry, yes, you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> we did review the Sienta Hybrid uh, last year. You can check that out by clicking the I in the top right-hand corner. But we did rate that pretty highly. So, you know, we're going to see if this one can measure up too. All right, so small MPV 101, as you saw in the Sienta uh, review that we did. This car is very small, uh, less than 4.3 meters long but very, very useful, as you can see from the boxy shape, which maximizes the interior room. Now, I think if you look at the front as well, I think the Freed has become a little less dorky, a little less boxy as well. And as far as small MPVs go, you know, you don't buy them because you want your neighbors to look at them in envy at the sexy lines. But, you know, I think it has been tightened up and cleaned up quite nicely uh, in this generation. But you're here for the practicality, and one of the key draws of uh, small MPVs, small Japanese MPVs, is this. The other side. You must line up the button according to the car pointing forward. That's right. I'm a genius. As you can see, like in the Sienta, the Honda Freed has sliding doors that yeah. open for the passengers and they can be controlled from the car key. Right. You can also control them from the driver's seat with buttons in the front yeah. and also child lock them. Very yeah. important. But of course, you know, the whole point of sliding doors is for ease of mobility, of getting in and out of the car. And I mean, I'm not the most tall person, I'm 1.65, but it's still a breeze getting in and getting out. I don't have to stoop down, I'm not in fear of hitting my head. That's right, so it's really good for people with limited limited, limited mobility, he means. <laughs> Okay, but uh, yeah, so um, we're going to check out the modular, the very modular interior of uh, the, the Freed. That's right, this is not the Sienta, it's the Freed. Okay, let's check it out. Now Darren has transformed into Luke. As you can see, what's the second row like, huh? Well, it's very spacious. Uh, from my angle, you know, this is how, uh, I wouldn't say a normal person, this is how a person would normally sit in uh, the Freed. So locked and lots of leg room, head room is really, really decent as you can see. Now, the thing about the second row is that you have movable seats. So, you know, you can actually move it to the front more or this is the max, but let me show you, this is the max. But goodbye, knees, knees! And uh, more importantly, you know, it's, uh, it's very comfortable. You know, I can see myself going for, you know, like a drive, say to KL or even further, you know, easily, easily, easily. Hey, actually, could you hold on to this for me? What the? Ugh! You see, another thing that the Freed can do is configure your seats in a pretty magical number of configurations. So the second row, you can put it all the way flat, take out that headrest, and in, sit in the third row and you've got yourself a lounge. Look at that! I want a lounge. Alright, so we are in lounge mode. So let's say you're taking this car for a nice drive, you need a rest. This is pretty much it. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Getting apps while I drive. New Year's resolutions. 
All right, this is the third row of the Honda Freed. It is, you know, not super cramped, I will say that. Um, you know, I've got a decent amount of leg room. I'm not Luke, so it's decent. My headroom is also pretty good. You know, there's ample enough space. If I jiggle over a hump, I'm not going to go smashing into the roof. But as for storage, you get two little cup holders, and I think that's about it. But it could comfortably fit, you know, one person and another person. So, you know, those long trips up to Malaysia, you're sorted. As for your luggage, with seven people, might be a bit of a squeeze, but people-wise, you're good. All right, so before we get to the boot, let me show you how to release a wild Kim into the wild. I said wild twice, but let's gonna get on with it. So this lever over here, just lift that, and that's how you can free a third passenger or a Kimmy into the wild. A whole new world. Now we mentioned boot space earlier on, so we are gonna show you how massive the Freed's boot actually is. You can fold down the rear seats like so and fold them up into the side. Ugh! Now there's a hook actually right here as you can see and just attach it to the top and push these down and there's actually a whole lot more space and this is just the third row. That's now, not including second as well. And we'd like to call on our special magician's assistant Darren Wong to fold down the second row of seats. Yes, master. Voila! Look at that! So much space. Now I'm not just lounging about, I'm showing you how much space there is in the Honda Freed when all the seats are put away. You can have one of me lounging about. One? More like um, maybe five and a half or six Kimmies, or even better yet. You know, chairs or I don't know, a bicycle or even plants if you go down you know, to Ikea or... Stop it. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's just throw it back to Darren from the cockpit. Over to you, Darren. What would you do with a van full of six me's? Okay, here we are up front in the Toyota Freed in the Honda Sienta. Now, you might think I'm being stupid, but I'm just being stupid. No, but of course, these cars are very, very similar. So you, you watch our Sienta review and you watch this, and you're gonna go, eh, it looks exactly the same besides this thing right here. But of course, okay, so let's uh, point out the similarities. Very tall cabin, of course, very good headroom as Luke showed you just now. Um, very good visibility all around, generally not bad. Um, the little cutout windows improve visibility even more, but I find these A pillars a little bit thick compared to the Sientas. So uh, just one thing to note right there. But um, visibility also very good. And you see that the entire instrument panel and all the information is right there up, pushed up near the windscreen. So you never have to take your eyes away from the road for very long. And just now I mentioned that there's a small difference between the S7 and the E7 party. Um, the S7 is, uh, has a four-speaker sound system, whereas the E7 has a six-speaker sound system. Ooh, really living it up right there. And also you have uh, variable speed windows. I don't really know what that does. And the other key difference between the S7 and the E7 is that the S7 part A only has one sliding door. So you're really slumming it with the S7. Only a five grand difference between the two, by the way. Okay, but in terms of quality, in terms of layout, uh, quite pleased with the Freed, the new Freed. Um, as a small MPV, of course, everything is kind of pushed upwards. So uh, all the control interfaces and everything you interface with is all very, very tall, very high, very easy to get into touch with. So you also have a lot of space to put your stuff. So let's count the number of places I can stick my phone. Uh, you shouldn't say that in a prison. Okay, so we've got our secret VCD hiding compartment right here. A nice little card holder right there as well. Uh, we can put our phone here. We can put our phone here. So that's one, two, three. Put my phone there. I can put my phone here. I'll put my phone in this cup holder here. Oh, and it fell through. Okay, maybe not. So that's not, that's not right. There's also a pull-out drawer right here. Maximum three kilos. I'm going to put my phone here too. Very useful. I can put the key here as well. And... Um, if you have no space for your three kilograms of blow, you can put it down there on the floor, which is clear. Um, there's a flat floor, just like the Sienta, so you can threaten your children in the back uh, if they misbehave. And you can also monitor their behavior right there. Down there, we've got a 12 volt power outlet and a USB port. Uh, so as you can see, there is a lot of space in the Freed. In the Freed, I got it that time. Okay. So in terms of spec and equipment, um, I am quite pleased with the Freed as well. Uh, for a small MPV of this price, you don't expect a whole lot of features, but 
it, it, it covers all the bases. So we got our nine inch infotainment screen. Of course, it's the Alpine branded screen, but it's really not that bad. Personally, I prefer the one in the Jazz with the original Honda interface. It's a little bit better because you can see that the, um, the icons are quite small. So I, I do need to reach to, to touch this thing, but it does have CarPlay, it does have Android Auto. Um, yeah, we can load Kimmy's uh, Taylor Swift um, playlist right here. Also Britney Spears, navigation and all that stuff. So it, it's pretty much covered. We have uh, one zone aircon, but all the controls are very easy to use. As you may have noticed, the, the gear shifter is right here. Again, like I said, for a small MPV, everything's kind of pushed upwards towards you. Very easy to use. And as I said, great visibility. So I think driving this car, and I have driven this car, it is very easy to drive, very easy to park. You know, it's the kind of car you can parallel park in one motion, no problem. And just as an aside before we go on to the driving part, um, this cabin is quite well made as well. There's a lot of plastic, but in typical Honda fashion, all put together quite nicely. And like I said just now, quite ergonomically. Um, some parts are quite plasticky. So this steering wheel is, you know, polyurethane. It's not leather. But uh, the door sill is quite, is quite soft. There's some leathery feeling stuff here. Uh, fake wood there, but nice to the touch. This is a little bit plasticky. But all in all, I think people who do like this kind of Japanese build quality, it's not super flashy, but it's also uh, feels very hard wearing and very useful. Now, the Koreans are a little bit more fancy when it comes to interiors these days, but whether or not that floats your boat is up to you. But I think comparing to the Sienta is more important. And the Sienta, of course, had that gray, loungy, sofa-y kind of fabric, which was supposed to be stain and water resistant. So the choice is yours, you know, if your child projectile vomits onto the dashboard, would you rather have plastic or would you rather have uh, water resistant fabric? Yeah, I think that's the key here. Okay, we're gonna talk about the driving of the Freed. It set my world on fire. It's better than the Ferrari 296, not. Okay, so 1.5 liter Canny engine, exactly what you expect. Sounds a bit moany and groany, CVT gearbox. Um, so around town, totally dead easy to drive. Um, you would probably get about 15 to you know, 18 kilometers per liter or less than 7 liters per hundred um, but honestly we have only driven the car for a day at this point so we can't tell you much about the fuel consumption yet but read our full review on car buyer singapore and we will tell you our verdict after a longer test drive what the fuel efficiency is like okay so i think we get here to the main strength of the freed and i think that is the fact that it drives pretty damn well for a small mpv now again, I will tell you to go and watch our Toyota Center review to get a benchmark of, of uh, small mpv ness and come back here and, and, and see what we have to say. But you know, when I took this car out on the road uh, with uh, I think it was four people inside, it still handled really, really well. So that's really one of the Honda things that hasn't gone away. Honda nicely done interiors, uh, okay looking cars, but of course at the end of the day, they always kind of have that very um, together feel of driving and it never felt like it was going to go Wee! off the road or like you know the suspension couldn't take it or so the steering feel good uh, a little bit of body roll okay that's fine but it did handle very very well and I was quite pleased with it so I think this is probably the better driving car of the two and it rode pretty well as well so the, the Sienta had a little bit of crashiness and if you saw on this end Serena e-power review from many years ago you would know that MPVs with sliding doors tend to have rattly uh, sounds coming from them when you're going over bumps but the freed is really quiet and so like luke said i think we could drive the kl and this at a decent speed and you know not uh, want to kill yourself um, too much how do you kill yourself less kill yourself more you not want to beat yourself up for not spending more on a car i think is a more accurate feel but yeah so surprisingly good to drive the honda free let's sum it up uh so kimmy what did you think against the sienta I think my only gripe about the Honda Freed is that it's not a hybrid, unfortunately. Mm, yeah. Because it would be saving you a lot more money um, at the gas station. Yeah. So that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, but, that's yeah. true. So a uh, uh, lack of electrification, I think, is uh, the biggest thing that the Freed lacks. And But as you've, we've seen, the 1.5 litre Caddy engine is still pretty decently efficient. So if you do use the Eco Mode and be a good boy, I think you can get kind of, sort of, a little bit close to the Sienta. But of course, you would never match it. Yeah. So Luke, what was your uh, likes of the Freed? I also liked how it was very spacious. You know, you have lots of uh, different 
configurations for the seating for you know example like what you saw earlier on you can lounge in the third row from the third row you can lounge from the second row and more importantly you know like what uh, Darren and Kim mentioned earlier on you know ease of mobility you know uh, I got out of the car with so much ease so you know for the kind of configurations that you have and accessibility I think this car is is really uh, giving you a run for your money okay so um, kind of like uh, the practicality thing you really liked and I think uh, it's pretty much equal to the Sienta there may be a little bit more in terms of the lounging thing but of course that is kind of <laughs> up to you if you let's go park somewhere and lounge yeah very very specific um, what do you call it target audience I believe the kids called it uh, let's just park in the 50s really Everybody call it? No one watched Back to the Future. Are you making it up? I'd love to park. Huh. Marty, I'm almost 18 years old. It's not like I've never parked before. What? Uh, anyway, so um, personally, when we're looking at it price to price, um, the two cars are very, very similarly priced. So uh, it, it's a really tough fight, actually. And for me, as a driver, I really like the way the free drive uh, over the Sienta. But I mean, the, the fact is most people won't give a shit about that. Because you don't buy you don't buy on the feet to go, you know, doing a toge and uh, drifting. But it is fun for the driver, and it does ride well. More importantly, and it's more refined. So um, that was our review of the Honda Free. For more videos, do subscribe to our channel at Car Buyer Singapore, and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on our future videos. Give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>